everybody, Socks Heather here, coming at you with another Tasty Tuesday, and tonight we have a Hungry Girl special. Um, I've gotten this from the Hungry Girl's website. It's Chicken Amore. She set it up for date night. Um, she did the recipe for two. I'm just automatically going to do the recipe for four because we like leftovers around these parts. Um, basically, it's a stuffed chicken with a creamy tomato sauce, and it looks amazing. I, of course, am altering the recipe just a bit, <laughs> so bear with me, um, but I will show you, I'll tell you what she's calling for, and I'll tell you how I'm altering it, okay? Let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients. First ingredient we have here is mushrooms. She calls for one large portobello cap, uh, sliced, and she says to spray your skillet with oil, which I did. I used coconut oil, um, and to saute it, which I am, but... Her recipe calls for garlic powder. I'm already going to admit that, and I'm going to I put in about uh, two cloves of just minced garlic. It's not going to change the point value, but it is going to add to the taste. So next I've done ingredient that. is chicken. I've taken two large chicken breasts. Um, her recipe calls for two five ounce raw boneless skinless lean breasts. When you buy breasts, really you could just get one breast because that's probably ten ounces and just split it down the middle. Um, but she wants you to also flatten them into about one and a half inch thickness. So that's what I've done. Um, mine's probably a bit thinner than hers. And I've cut it into four so that we can have leftovers. So there's my chicken. She calls for um, one eighth teaspoon salt, uh, one eighth teaspoon black pepper, one eighth teaspoon garlic powder, which I omitted. I did season the chicken with the salt and the pepper, but I omitted the garlic powder. And then she calls for one eighth teaspoon Italian seasoning, which I've got here. She calls for one third cup jarred roasted red peppers drained and sliced, which I'm going to do in just a moment. Of course, I'm going to double that because I'm doubling the recipe. Um, she also calls for six large leaves of fresh basil, which I am out of basil, but she calls for creamy tomato soup. Well, I happen to have creamy tomato basil soup, so I'm going to replace the basil with the basil soup. This is not what she's calling for. This is definitely higher in calories. She recommends something, and I'll link the recipe below. She recommends a fat-free or a low-fat soup. I got this one from Costco. It was delicious. They were giving samples of it. Um, you could use whatever you like. She calls for two wedges of Laughing Cow light creamy Swiss cheese. I happen to have the regular creamy Swiss, and of course I'm going to use four because we're doubling the recipe. And she calls for a quarter cup of fat-free sour cream. I'm going to use a half cup of plain full-fat yogurt because we don't like to do low-fat stuff here. We prefer to go as whole foods as possible. So those are the ingredients she asked for, and that's how I'm going to alter it. But I'll link the recipe below, and you can use her recipe, my recipe, or your own recipe. We will get going. So I'm going to wait until those mushrooms saute a bit. And... I'm going to put the cheese wedges on here, and then the red peppers, and then the mushrooms, and I'll show you what that looks So I put these in the oven <laughs> without showing them to you. That's what they look like. I've layered all that stuff, and I pinned them together with toothpicks. I covered the pan with foil and put them in an oven at 350 for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take that foil off and bake them longer for 15 minutes. Okay, while the chicken is cooking, I've taken, she recommends, Hungry Girl recommends cook, doing this in the microwave. I'm just doing it on the stove um, because I'm using the pan that I sauteed the mushrooms in. I'm going to get all the dredgings of the mushrooms and the garlic in here. Um, this is where you would put the tomato soup, the sour cream, and the Italian seasoning. But I've got the tomato soup, the plain yogurt, and this soup is already seasoned, so I've left out this, the Italian seasoning. So I'm just going to mix this up. And we're going to let it simmer while the chicken bakes. And before I baked the chicken, I made some roasted cauliflower. Just a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, grated. And, or shredded or grated. I, whatever comes in the jar. And uh, I baked that up at 350 for about a about 50 minutes to get it a little bit brown and I'll just give that a nice pop in the microwave before we serve dinner and I'll probably do a little salad of Shirazi on the side and I preheated Woo. yes the Persian preheated the oven while I was on my way home from my <coughs> meeting okay mm -hmm. so the timer has gone off they've cooked for 20 minutes I removed the foil and this is what they look like this I can't even tell you how good it smells 
We are so excited to put that in our mouths. And here's what they look like finished. I'm just going to pull these toothpicks out. And then we will serve it up with some sauce. I'll show you the finished plate in just a second. You got served. <laughs> okay, there we have it. The lighting is terrible on this camera, but we just have some tomatoes with a little bit of table salt. We have the roasted cauliflower, and we have the chicken with the tomato cream sauce. We're drooling. I'm going to have the Persian try it right here and now oh, so really? you guys can get a little taste test. Oh, I'm not even ready. Okay, now he's going to try it. I always start giggling when I I don't think it's going to be hot. What's that? Well, I think you just had the chicken and the sauce, but it also has like Swiss cheese and roasted red peppers and mushrooms. You like? That's really good. Good, I'm glad you like this it. This is definitely a Mexican. All right, it's going on the rotation. Later, Wiener. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.